besides my orange crush that I went on, I was drinking earlier that really matches my pants. Um, <laughs> so something if you've been trying, Instagram is definitely pushing reels. Reels is a big deal. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> and um, trying to get that out there. So if you're using Instagram, try to do more reels. The issue with it, it was maxing out at 30 seconds mm -hmm. and 30 seconds is not a very long time. That's shorter than an Instagram story. Um, so it's, it's been awkward for folks to try to stay um, under that 30 second limit. Well, now they finally expanded it to a minute to compete with TikTok, which of course, TikTok just recently went to three minutes just for some users. Oh, geez. Yeah. So if you haven't been on TikTok recently, you may notice some longer videos. But um, also TikTok has added a fast forward option on some of the for some of the users, too. Mm -hmm. So oh, all, all kinds of stuff I'm all over the face all the um, social media stuff. But uh, so you make sure you're using Reels, and now you have a minute to use it and definitely take advantage of that whole minute. I, I Definitely, when I was doing the, uh, and I fell out of it, partially because of travel and everything, but when I was doing all the TikTok videos for this podcast and a couple others, uh, that 30 seconds really was a limiter. And, and, and you know, when you're designing across the board, like we were doing TikTok and we are doing Instagram and a couple other formats in that in that form factor, right? So it was just like, well, I'm just going to make everything under 30 seconds. So, But again, we were doing clips, so that was just kind of just fine. But now you're telling me like TikTok is about three minutes? Like yeah. I, some of the longer clips we do for like this show, like basically if I put it on Twitter, I can put it on TikTok now, right? Pretty much, yeah. So mm -hmm. like that that really kind of opens it up. So And uh, <laughs> I deal with a lot of wrestling promos. And uh, again, like a lot, of, a lot of them are two minutes, great for Twitter. Um, but man, now I know... Like I can throw them at TikTok. So, so the three minutes isn't for everybody, right? On TikTok, it, do, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, it, it it doesn't seem to be. At least not everyone's taking advantage of it if they have okay. that option. But it doesn't seem like everyone has that option. It'll quite be yet. interesting to look at. So, so um, uh, how hard is it, Dork, for you to change your YouTube video into those formats? Like, is it a time consuming? Uh, a little bit. It's like enough to be an issue when I'm trying to like schedule out like a week worth of videos and stuff. And I was trying to figure out time versus benefit and, and things like that. And you never know what's going to hit. Right. But you want to keep right. doing it because so, you don't know what's going to hit. All right? right. So like that's been the thing. Um, so again, fell out of it. I'm actually been trying to kind of recruit some some fellow video people to kind of help do clips for these shows to help that kind of situation. Um, again, like when I, like something happens and I have to disappear for two weeks, like they still get done kind of thing. Um, so, but I mean, other than that, like, yeah, it's, it's like, I, I'll, I found myself spent, like between all the clips I do on YouTube and everything between this, like both the Tuesday night shows, I'd find myself taking like most of an afternoon to do it. So, you know, making them, scheduling them, doing some cover art for some of them. And that's like. It's not just like TikTok and Instagram. That's that's also like doing clips for YouTube and you know a couple other uh, platforms as well. Um, but uh, I have a template. <laughs> so if you've seen the one that has like the the video, you know the Awesome Cast logo and the text comes up and everything on the Instagram, um, I I do. It's just a template that I made in Final Cut, and everything kind of snaps pretty easily to it. Um, so I mean, it's not. After you've kind of figured out what that wants, what you want that to look like, and you can upload through the browser, so it's pretty great. Um, you're kind of good to go after that. So, um, but it take it does take a little more. I mean, it's probably a little heady for anyone who doesn't, you know, know a video editor. But then stuff like Adobe Spark and things like that kind of automatically make stuff for it. So I think, you know, it's kind of just knowing the tool. That uh, that you have available. So and there, there's there's what I'm talking about there about the how I convert things and make them kind of the vertical with the graphics and everything like that with, and just lay it over top. You know we crop the video appropriately so it looks still looks like it's uh, pretty decent. So, but uh, yeah, I, and I'm looking to return to that relatively soon. I'm hoping. So, uh, 